Hey, what's up guys, Xover here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys my current MXP230 setup with the brushes gimbal. I've been getting a lot of questions after the last video I did showing the MXP and the brushes gimbal, and I'm going to try to answer all those questions in this video. I hope it really helps some of you guys out, but if it doesn't and if you guys have still more questions, you guys can send us an email, give us a phone call, go on the website, all the contact information is there. But First of all, the brushes gimbal we're using is the FY Tech. I think that's how you say it, or FU Tech. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a really, really awesome gimbal. I've tried other gimbals, and this one pretty much outperforms the other ones. It's as close to being as good as the Zenmuse. And here's a short video taken with this gimbal. I also want to point out, you can see right here in the video how I just kind of moved really quick and I'm just moving really quick throughout this whole little track and you can see the gimbal is really holding up really nice and that's something I really really liked about this gimbal that no matter how hard you fly it, it never seems to really lose its horizon so that's really really nice. Alright guys, so you can see by that video that the brushes gimbal performs really nice and really keeps its horizon as level as possible. And I would say it's pretty comparable to Zenmuse gimbal. I know the Zenmuse is going to be a lot better quality and perform better, but to be honest with you, for the price, it's an awesome gimbal. For the motors, I'm using the Sunny Sky 2300 KV motors. I was using the Cobra's 1960 KV motors and I noticed a longer flight time on those uh, on 4S. I am using these on 4S so I mean if you want longer flight times I'd recommend the Cobra's 1960 KV. Props I'm using are the HQ6045 props. Um, you can also use the Genfan 6045s or the HQ6x3s they all work really nice. ESCs I'm using are 12 amp Simon K ESCs. You can find these on the website xhover.com. Battery is a 4S 2230C battery. This battery gives me plenty of power. I recommend these batteries. They're from hobby people, but the performance is more like a 35C. Flight controller I decided to use with this is a DJI NASA Light. I'm not using the GPS on this just because I don't feel like I need it. FPV gear, I'm using a 5.8 600 milliwatt immersion RC transmitter with a cloverleaf antenna and a 420 TVL fat shark camera. I've been using the same exact setup on all my builds. It's just really simple, easy, and I really, really like this setup. All right guys, so the way I have this brushless gimbal mounted is uh, I actually designed a special plate designed to mount on the gimbal itself. So that way when you want to take it off your MXP, it's really easy just by removing four screws. And you can see here, it just comes off really easily. And there's the actual plate mounted on the gimbal. And it's just held up by three screws um, onto the actual brushes gimbal. So it makes it really nice and convenient to just take it off uh, whenever you don't fly, want to fly with the brushes gimbal. And I will be having that plate up on the, on the store very soon with the hardware kit you need. And there you go guys, you can fly without the gimbal really easily fast. Just mount your GoPro or Mobius on there. And when you want to fly with the brushes gimbal, just throw it on there. No problem, comes off really easily. So that's it for this video guys. I hope it helps some of you guys out. But if you still have any questions or comments, please leave them below or send us an email or give us a phone call. And you can find most of the stuff I talked on this video at xhover.com. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And that's it, guys. Hope this helped out. Thanks for watching, guys.